Hello and welcome to the seventh part of our online course on answer set solving in practice. My name keeps being Thorsten Schaub and this is actually a course that we are currently running as a master course at the University of Potsdam. Now this part is about grounding. It's about the process of taking a logic program with object variables, first order variables, and turn it into a logic program without object variables or into a propositional logic program. As such, this part actually marks the beginning of a whole series of lectures on practical aspects of answer set solving and this will be the part on grounding and all the remaining ones will be on solving. Well, anyway, let's first look what's in this box here before I talk about what's in the, in the upcoming uh, parts. Okay, so we talk about grounding. In particular, we talk in the first uh, three sections here about, well, about more and more sophisticated grounding methods and we will more or less look uh, uh, use an example to illustrate this and not go too much into too many details. Then we will talk briefly about on-the-fly simplifications, things actually that the grounder can find out if he gets the opportunity. Then we talk about rule instantiation and as before I will wrap up with things to remember. So this is grounding, or more or less this is the workflow of ASP, starting with modeling, going over grounding, then actual solving, and then interpreting the solutions again. And in this part here, we will be looking what is under the hood, uh, what is a grounder actually doing. And you know that in our case, this is Gringo the grounder, and I actually owe a lot to Roland Kaminsky, the builder of Gringo the grounder, uh, who actually provided me with the first draft of these, of these slides. But all errors are of course mine, right? Okay, another disclaimer I have to make is I will only talk about grounding algorithms for normal logic programs, grounding techniques for more sophisticated language constructs like aggregates or um, conditional literals or and the like, right? This is really for the research literature and this will be much too complicated for you guys now in this course. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> 